Welcome back to the show, everybody. We got a great one for you today. Let's go ahead and talk about it. We're going to cover the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit may end soon. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that. And by the way, there's some incredible news. We got some information that could help send Bitcoin price even higher. And we're also going to look at the fact that Bitcoin crosses and became bigger than Google's market cap and the Russian ruble. Don't believe it. It's still true. Lots to cover. Let's roll that beautiful intro. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show. You can follow me on Twitter at Backup Bradley above at the top of the screen and everything that we're talking about here today. Lots of news to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. XRP taking a breath in the market right now. It was up at 53 cents just about a half hour, hour ago, and now we're looking at 49 cents. If we can stay above that 50 cent uh, price, we can really start talking about making that push to 70, 80 cents or a dollar or more. And we are going to cover uh, the possibility that the Ripple lawsuit may end sooner than we think. So let's go ahead and get started with the news. Here we go. So looking at this, SCB 10X, the venture arm of Thailand's Siam Commercial Bank, which is a partner of Ripple, has announced it will create a new USD $50 million venture capital fund dedicated to investing in global early and growth stage blockchain, decentralized finance, DeFi, digital assets, and startups. Just briefly, really quickly here, you can see where Siam Commercial Bank has an arm, admirable record uh, of early investment in top companies such as Ripple and others, BlockFi, Alpha Finance, crypto lending platform. So let's go ahead and keep this moving. Lots to cover. 650,000 Bitcoin assets under management for Grayscale's cryptocurrency assets. This reaches $36 billion for Grayscale. My oh my, that's a lot of Bitcoin. Thank you to Michael Val Five Links. And when you think about the enormous size of that portfolio, you got to think about Bitcoin broadly. Look at this from Crypto Wolf. Bitcoin market cap officially surpasses the money supply of the Russian ruble. Oh my. The flippening happened after the news of Tesla's behemoth purchase of Bitcoin, which was one and a half billion dollars. Now, look, I, I have to say it doesn't stop there because cryptocurrency market cap hits one point four trillion dollars collectively as a whole for the crypto space. And it surpasses Google stock market cap. Wow. Wow. That is pretty interesting right there. So now let's go ahead and look at this. This is Argo blockchain and has reached a new agreement establishing a mining facility in Texas. This is a UK company that's got a 200 megawatt facility expected to be completed in the next 12 months. Let's just take a look at this. It gives Argo tremendous control over its mining operations as well as significant capacity for expansion. In addition, we have been able to secure access to some of the cheapest renewable energy worldwide in a location where innovation in new technology technologies is encouraged and incentivized shout out to texas renewable energy solar panels windmills right i want you to think about that impact right there if we see something come down with the unified framework for the crypto space with the new uh, appointees confirmed uh, or nominees confirmed for their positions in the uh, market regulator uh, agencies CFTC, SEC, if we see a unified framework released, and I am I almost am certain that we're going to see some kind of change or approach uh, that has to be uh, um, adjusted for, for proof of work, mining, if you will, like Bitcoin. And I think Argo is on the front end of it. And using renewable energy is quite an argument here for what could help boost uh, not only the use of XRP, but I mean, I'm a, a use of Bitcoin, excuse me, but it could also boost a desire to want to buy and hold it more than it is today because you're seeing less energy consumption to be able to mine it because of using that renewable energy. Now, that to me is a pretty exciting thing for Bitcoin and Bitcoin holders. Now, I wish I had about a thousand of them, but I don't. Me and Mrs. Backup do hold Bitcoin in our portfolio, but however, it's not as much as we'd like it to be. 
<laughs> Nevertheless, with that being said, I think this is exciting news for Bitcoin right here. And it's even more exciting to me that this is being done in Texas in the United States. We may even see regulation come out where you got to start purchasing U.S. mined Bitcoin. Who knows? I mean, it's in the air. But one thing that we're going to get to that in a second, because we're going to talk about the possibility of this lawsuit maybe ending sooner than we even believe. So Rhode Island introduced a vital blockchain growth act, a a new Rhode Island House bill aims to revamp state legislator to create a regulatory environment more conducive to blockchain's growth boost the state's economy. Again, just like what Texas has done to invite people out to get a position, they can get money dedicated to building a facility, right? You using your put setting up shop in their state. This is what I'm talking about here. You're seeing the states recognize, hey, we need to pass some bills to incentivize these companies to want to come here and to do business right where we are. And I tell you, that competition is going to be very good for this space when it comes to all these different states offering different incentives for companies in the fintech blockchain crypto space to come and set up shop. All right, look, Looking at this, JP Morgan adds crypto friendly signature bank to its focus list. Don't sleep on this. Wait till you see the numbers on this one. A focus list involves which stocks the firm's research department proposes as most promising. JP Morgan moved to include signature bank suggests that the bank can ride the cryptocurrency wave. <laughs> I'll say, listen to this number, Signature faces competition with another leading crypto-friendly bank, Silvergate. We've covered them. They are massive, which offers banking services to the likes of Circle, Paxos, and Kraken. However, listen to this, Signature held more than 25 times the assets Silvergate held in 2020 and now has surpassed over $10 billion deposits, says Alex Apollos. I believe I said it right. Alex Apollos. So this to me shows the size of the Silvergate was huge. And I remember when they applied for a digital asset custody license, uh, I think it was a couple of years ago now. But uh, with that notwithstanding, if Signature Bank is holding more than 25 times the assets Silvergate held in 2020, my goodness, I tell you, everybody's taking their positions. You can really feel it. And here's a big, big, big nod to the crypto space. Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis is taking a close look at Ethereum and DeFi. The bank is bullish and reports that DeFi has the benefits of accessibility, composability, and efficiency and transparency. Well, with that being said, look at this comment down here. Maybe someone should introduce them to Flare Networks, says Mark Dean. Oh, that's a good one, Mark. I like it. And you know what? Josh even follows it up with a nice one, too. They were using ETH as DeFi example, not using it. Costs far too much for it to be used. The government will use Flare or Algo. I assume it will Flare. It will use Flare as it's tied to the ledger quick settlement and that most banks using the XRP ledger. Well said to the both of them, Josh and Mark Dean. I can't say it any better. The gas fees on the Ethereum network are out of control and they're only going to go higher. Higher. Don't believe it. It's still true. But we see the amendment to the XRP ledger from We'd Say When for the Hooks Amendment that is allowing smart contract functionality to the apps connected to the ledger, as I understand it. And that's promising. And then on the other side of the candle, what do we see? We see Flare Networks building that, continuing to build out that two way bridge from the XRP ledger to the Ethereum network. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Here we see European Central Bank's members weigh in on rolling out a CBDC within five years. <laughs> Should we just swim over to China and just give them the trophy for the being the leader in the fourth industrial revolution? What the hell kind of comment is this? Is, will someone call Christine Lagarde and tell her we need the Christine Lagarde that was at the IMF when she was managing director and that bullish attitude towards moving to crypto and payment networks. And she wasn't talking about Bitcoin. I think we all have seen the clips, right? Uh, Within five years, I mean, what is this? I mean, geez. Uh, again, some good comments down here. Mr. Intuitive says, by five years, do they mean five months? And then uh, Pleiades, uh, 
Pleiade says, uh, five years, laugh out loud. No way they're letting China roll out their CBDC while everyone else just tests the waters. I couldn't agree more. I mean, the, there is there is a lot at stake here. And this, you know, five years, honestly, does not feel very optimistic to want to be a leader in this space, right? I mean, I think we all really clearly understand that you do not want, you know, communist China being the leader of the fourth industrial revolution, and nor do I think they will be. So I think the groundwork for that is being put into place right now. Here's something interesting. It may feel small to you, but it isn't. Listen to this really quickly. A digital bank guarantee has just been executed over the blockchain system in Australia. Australia has been working very quickly to get things to a cashless place in what is called as the first for a commercial bank product in the nation. I did drill down on this, and it just says here the venture's objective was to bring 200-year-old paper-based bank guarantee process into the digital era. Everything needs to be digitalized and tokenized. That's that's just the story, and it's good to see it happening in Australia. There's a great comment from XRP Evo who says, oh, we're going cashless fast here, already taking out ATMs. That's been happening for a while. Shout out to XRP Evo for that little tidbit of information. And as we move on, let's remember XRP at 53 cents as it was just shortly, uh, a short time ago this morning, 53 cents is still extremely undervalued. We are still 700% to go to a new all-time high. Shout out to Crypto Bull 2020 for that one. And this is a reminder from me to you and from Sologenic. This comes from Reza from Sologenic, and he says, excited for the new Sologenic Dece decentralized web and mobile apps, the DEX has full XRP ledger support, meaning not only Sologenic assets can be traded, but XRP and other assets can be traded and managed. New Solo Wallet app will have so many new features, including the decentralized exchange and easy asset management. This is a reminder of Sologenic has built their entire platform on top of the XRP ledger and using XRP as well as the native token Solo token for their platform to be able to settle and move funds and make trades and buy and hold. And it's just amazing to me that they have really, really put it where it goes and this to me says exciting things about what's to come because there's a lot there's a lot of weight and implications about the lawsuit that's hanging over our head because of the dereliction of duty of the sec not taking action for seven years now this says here ripple could win its lawsuit with the SEC, says former SEC executive Joseph Hall, trading is likely to resume in the U.S. as the case winds down. Listen to this as we jump into this. This is a nice way to close right here. Okay, SEC's lawsuit against Ripple to end soon. Now, that to me is pretty interesting. It says here, the situation around the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple has gone on for a while now and has greatly affected the payments platform. Last December, the company and two of its officials were accused by the SEC of selling unregistered digital securities worth over $1.3 billion. However, in a recent tweet from Stephen Pally, who's a lawyer, he mentioned that the SEC lawsuit against Ripple would soon wind down. In addition, Anderson Kill, a blockchain and crypto lawyer, also tweeted that he expects the lawsuit to end soon after Ripple gave quick answers to the SEC's complaints. He revealed that in a regular legal dispute, you don't get the other side document until the case has progressed. It is assumed that the SEC has acquired every other of the all of the other documents needed. SEC could lose its lawsuit against Ripple as well. The SEC has been after Ripple and XRP for a while, and it and in Ripple has been able to weather the storm. Although not completely, but the latest report has brought a new outlook to the case. Uh, summarily, the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple might end soon. The former SEC executive Joseph Hall believes that there is a likelihood that Ripple wins the case. He also said in an interview with Thinking Crypto that the SEC lawsuit against Ripple is pretty astonishing. 
Ever since the lawsuit against Ripple was filed in December, XRP has suffered a great drop in its market value as many investors in crypto platforms decided to pull out of XRP trading, while many also predicted that the SEC might win the case. However, recent indicators are revealing that the case could end soon. Once it ends, XRP would resume trading in the U.S. again. How about that? That would be incredible news, wouldn't it? And I tell you something, looking here at this price right now and knowing that XRP has been climbing a mountain ever since that lawsuit's been in place, imagine what the XRP price will do if they win this case or it gets settled and we resume trading. I'm telling you what, that has got the hair standing on the back of my neck. I don't even want to begin to try to guess where the market would go and what the XRP price would be. But I tell you one thing, once this clarity is here and this is no longer an issue, my oh my, it's time for XRP to fly. That's going to do it for me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Share with somebody you know. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Check out all the links in the description box and the comment section. They are products and services that I use each and every day, and they are trusted, vetted links. And by the way, make sure you check out I Trust Capital. It is the best crypto gold silver IRA on the planet going. I will catch you on the next one.